then slowly. It's not all at once. You want to change your diet, you want to stop eating animal meat, I think it's wonderful, but it's not just about stopping eating. From one day to the next, he doesn't eat anything anymore. So where are the proteins that your body took from those foods? Because with all the negative part of these foods, they also have the positive part that nourished you. So how are you replacing it? Are you going to live on leaves alone? No, leaf alone doesn't do the trick. It has to be a balanced diet, vegetables, grains, and greens. Then it'll tell you, you are starting to balance your diet. It's not just, stop and cut everything from your body. It's eating every now and then. Abuse what does the least harm, which is the egg, then the fish, then the chicken. I don't even talk about meat. This is actually what you should totally suppress, but keep the chicken, fish, and egg. These meats, chicken, and fish, are very high in protein. They contain food, which your bodies need. So don't stop eating them completely. Once in a while, once a week, he eats chicken and eats fish. There are already two days a week with a high protein diet. On other days it can be eggs, and then you have to use grains. It is in the grains that you will find everything that beef gave you. But be careful, be careful with the grains because many have already been modified. Not these. So my brothers. Finding balance is the key to success. It is the key to a peaceful, well done walk, energetically speaking, very good. But nothing with radicalism, it's slow. You usually say, those who don't eat anything that comes from animals, you call them vegans. Being vegan is not a condition for going to the fifth dimension. I never said that. You can make a compromise. Being vegan, then they stop being vegan, right? But still eat animal food, from time to time, so that their bodies begin to get used to the loss of that food. And then little by little, you learn to replace. But what do you do? You take everything away and don't replace it with anything. Then you can't. So how can you replace chicken meat? Ah, with this, this and this, excellent. Then you start having that food in your daily life. And then you start to forget about the chicken. My brothers, it will not be a sin if you maintain a balanced diet and eat from time to time. Nobody is sinning. Ah, but the energy in my body will be changed. It depends on how much you eat. Then it'll tell you, you go a whole month without eating meat, then one day they go to a friend's house and it's a barbecue. And then you spend the day eating meat. Then I will really tell you that you missed the ball. Now if you make a dish containing meat, you've eaten and it's gone. Ah, but it's very difficult. So don't go to the barbecue. Then you have to make a decision. That's what I just said above. At the beginning of this video, it's determination, I am determined to eat very little meat. So I'm going to put a piece on my plate, I'm going to have lunch, I'm going to have a snack, I'm going to do whatever and that's it. I don't eat any more. Will it mess with your energy? It will, but not as intensely. Now if you spend the whole day snacking, enjoying it just because it's a barbecue, then my friend, then your energy really drops a lot. So everything has to be balanced. Balance is the key word. Ever. I can see that you are committed to exchanging recipes, exchanging learning. I think this is wonderful, because many people don't have ideas, they don't know, they don't know what to do. So what would be interesting, what would be important, on this journey that you are choosing? Listen to those who know. If there is any of you, let him be a good nutritionist, that can say to you, what can I make up for beef? That person will say, you can eat this, this, and this. What do I make up for chicken meat? Eating this, this, this. What do I compensate the fish for? Eating this, this, this. Then I will tell you that you will form a very balanced group, because then yes, you will be learning to supply your bodies with what you are not eating, which is bad. Look for that. Try to obtain information, scientifically speaking. 
Meat contains what? Contains this, 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 and this. What do I do to replace it? You will know a list of foods that you can eat that replace meat. This has already been studied, it is that person's profession, it was trained to precisely understand each food, and will be able to guide you correctly. So this is a way for this group, which is actually concerned about food, to do it, but to do it consciously, correctly. Not just because of the fat and that you have to stop eating meat, it's not quite like that. You have to stop eating, yes, but for those who have been used to it for a lifetime, it has to be done slowly. It cannot happen from one day to the next. I cut it out, I don't eat it anymore. You're going to get sick. Any less. Let's walk with conscious and firm steps, not with quick steps, without knowing the way. So look for this information. Since you are studying about it, look for the information. Work the information correctly. There are millions of things that you can do in your daily life that are healthy for you. Exchange these experiences. Don't just focus on food. Fruits and juices are excellent sources of many things. Do you understand? The subject is very broad. If you want to reach balance, let's do it consciously. I applaud your initiative, as you are already trying to eat better. It's a perfect initiative, but let's do it right, let's understand the value of each thing. It's not just taking it away that it will work. You have to have a scale. Ah, here the scale had meat, on the other side I had all the nutrients from meat. I take out the meat, what happens to the scales? She unbalances. So you have to find something, which together will bring the scales back to balance. Replacing everything that the flesh would give you. So that's it my brothers, that's what you have to put together. That's what you have to balance. Create dishes for that day. Look at this dish here, if you make it with this, 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 you'll be eating a steak. So whoever is preparing the food will know that they will have to have everything there to make up a steak. Do you understand where I'm going? I want you to be balanced, not sick. And you are getting sick, because you cut everything from one moment to the next. It can't be like that. You have to go slowly, cutting little by little, and above all, replacing it. It's not just about cutting, you have to replace it. Then I will hear some people saying, Ah, but I'm too nauseous to eat, I don't eat this, I don't eat that. Ah, my friend, there you have a serious problem. Because if you only know how to eat meat, in the fifth dimension you will go hungry. Start changing your habits and realize that by doing so, you will also end up changing the habits of your families. Because they will also understand that it is not just meat that brings them the supplement they need. Did you understand? So my brothers, everything is balance. Always think about the scale. The scale has a positive and negative side. The flesh I can say is negative, so you put it on the scale, but what do you have on the other side? You have what the meat gives you, be it any meat, it is not a handful of rubbish that you put in, it goes in and comes out just as it came in. No, there are nutrients there, there are proteins. There are fats, there is everything, vitamins, hormones. But let's talk about the good side, the good side of that food, which if it were from a healthy animal, I would give it to you. Very good. So if you remove the meat from one side, you have to add something else, because otherwise, your body will be out of balance. Think about it. Continue this journey, I'm not telling anyone to stop. You are going the right way. They heard what I said. So now let's do things right for everyone. I will tell you that it will be a great growth among you, where you will learn a lot. And I say more, it will do a lot of good things, making you change your diet and feel perfectly satisfied, and their bodies, over time, will no longer have the desire to eat something from the past. No, they will no longer have that desire. Because they are satisfied, they have everything balanced. And then yes, you will be more than ready, for the balance of fifth dimension. Tomorrow I will close this matter with the cure.
I will talk about healing. I am Archangel Michael. I love it, I get excited, I really like it when something I say is heard. And you search, even often in the wrong way, it doesn't matter, but you try to follow what I say. Indeed, it is at these times that I realize that my words were not left in the wind. 